Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and it is raining, yay! It has been such a hot summer and we definitely have not had that many rainy days. So glad for the rain. Was a little inconvenient when you're going to a bulk store, but that's okay, <laughs> we need it. So I've got a pretty big Sam's Club haul to share with you guys today. The total was a little over 430, but I will be popping up individual prices. So you guys can see I have several non-food items and a lot of food and I just like arranged it the best I could on the table. So let me turn you guys around and show you guys what I picked up. And if you see any puffs of dog hair, just ignore those, but you guys always comment when I share the dog. So I thought they're always with me. There's Buford and Oliver. All right, here is the table. We definitely got some stuff that was on sale. The prices that I pop up are gonna be like what I paid, so with a discount. And then I picked up a couple things that were not on the list that I know we probably won't see. The next time we go, because they're new or they're like clearanced out because they were summer items. So we'll go ahead and start right here. I'm pretty sure, let me do one little glance over. Yes, this is all the non-food items. So we are pretty low on our dishwasher tabs or packs, I guess they're called. So I went ahead and got the members mark. We have tried different brands and they all work the same in our opinion. So got the members mark, dishwasher packs, ultimate clean. It is a 105 count in the fresh clean scent. So picked those up. I typically get the Dixie paper plates. I absolutely love them, but I feel like I did pick the members mark up before and they were really, really good. Just like, I mean, we like them and they hold up just as well as the Dixie. So since nothing was on sale, I did go ahead and get the members mark and the ultra paper plates. There's 204 in here and these are like the 10, whatever and a half or 10 and a 10th. I don't, I'm not sure, but they're the 10 inch plates. So we went ahead and got those definitely, you know, with a larger family and, and kids over, uh, I say kids over because there are kids over today. <laughs> so we go through the paper plates um, more in the summertime. All right, and then I did just pick some Clorox wipes up from Target, but some of those we're using for back to school to give to the teachers to keep in their classrooms. So we went ahead and picked up some more Clorox wipes from Sam's. It's a total of 425. I think there's five, yeah, there's five in here. These are like the, it's a, the skinnier one. So there's three in the crisp lemon and two in the fresh scent. So we picked that up, then coming back here, the body wash was on sale and Mark needed some more and he really loves the scent of Old Spice. So we got this two pack of the Old Spice Swag Swagger Scent of Cedarwood body wash. I think each of these are, yeah, 30 ounces. So he's got plenty of body wash to last him for a while. Um, this was on sale as well. I picked up a lot of the stuff that was on sale in like the cleaning stuff because I like to have backups of everything. So this, I don't think I've picked up this scent before, but all of the little laundry beads is what I call them were on sale. I think we went today because I think the sale ends August 7th. You guys, I think are seeing this like the week after. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do this as like a bonus like haul video or if it's gonna be my weekly grocery haul. Don't know yet, <laughs> but I did go ahead and get the Downy Infusions Calm Lavender and Vanilla Bean In Wash Scent Booster. I really love these. It just gives a fresh scent to the clothes. They're not needed, no, but like I said, we just really like to add that in. And then everybody is out of like an extra backup of toothpaste. So since they were on sale, I think all the Crest, I'm not sure if the Colgate was on sale, but I know all the different Crest ones were. I went ahead and went with this Value 5 pack. It's the Pro Health Advanced Whitening and Intensive Clean 24 hour anti back protection. And like I said, that's a five pack. So there's five of the 5.8 ounce um, tubes of toothpaste in there. The toilet paper was not on sale, but we did need some. We only have a couple left in our little backup bin. So we got a pack of the, it says 32 Super Plus. So they're a little bigger of the Charmin, which is our favorite brand, ultra soft toilet paper. We'll get that like doled out into everybody's bathroom. And then coming over here, the pads, I do like to pick these up when they're on sale. I love these, these are my favorite pads like never ever any leakage going on um, for myself when I use these and Paige uses these also. So it has two different bags in there. I keep one in my bathroom and she keeps one in hers. There's how many total? 80. So each bag has 40 in there and they're the overnight with the wings on them and the ultra thin, which is 
fantastic. You know, they, they just feel a little more comfortable when you're wearing them overnight. So went ahead and got that or those since they were on sale. And then the, one of the name brands, is it the Glad? I think the Glad were on sale. So I was kind of like price comparing, but the members mark, we love the off brand. They work just as well of the PowerFlex kitchen trash bags. So even with the sale on the Glad trash bags, these ones are still a little cheaper. And like I said, they work just as well. So we got a box of those. There's 200 of the, I think it's a 13 gallon. Yeah, 13 gallon kitchen bags in there. So that's it as far as non-food. Now we're coming into some stuff that I had on my list and then lots of goodies I feel like that we picked up. I haven't done a big grocery haul in a while, so I definitely found some things. All right, so I picked up a couple things because tonight we do have some extra kids in the house and we're just gonna do good old hot dogs, french fries, and watermelon for dinner. So I picked up a pack of the 16 hot dog buns, the home pride, I just got the cheapest this one that I could find. And then as far as the french fries, I was gonna run into HEB as well today because I do have a couple like regular grocery items on my list. But since it's raining and all that, I was like, nah, and I have some ice cream, you guys will see. I was like, ah, I need to go home first. So H-E-B probably won't be until tomorrow, but I wanted to have french fries for tonight. I don't think I've ever picked up a bag this big of french fries. So I'm gonna make sure we go through these because one thing about opening up bags that aren't resealable is I just feel like the freezer burn happens a little more fast or more quickly than if it is just in the freezer in a bag. So we'll see about this eight pound family size bag. I'm gonna cook up a tray or bake up a tray tonight and then the rest will just be in the freezer to add to dinners and lunches and stuff until we're done with it. But went with the golden crinkles of those. All right, coming down here to a couple extra things. I did have chicken nuggets like on the brain because we are out of like any quick lunch items. And I saw these ones. These are Jurassic World chicken nuggets. And my kids, I don't know what it is. You let me know if your kids are obsessed with Jurassic World right now, but Jurassic World and Stranger Things are like the top two things that my kids are obsessed with right now. So I saw the Jurassic World nuggets, went ahead and picked them up. They're just dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets. So got those. And then this was something extra that I saw. I thought would be like fun on toast in the morning for breakfast with like some fruit or bacon, whatever. But it's cinnamon toast crunch creamy cinnamon spread and it does show it on a piece of bread there. So I don't know, I just thought this would be yummy in the morning for a quick breakfast. Got some bananas just for eating on over the next few days. All right, I did have block cheese on my list, but they have not, they used to sell the Colby and Monterey Jack, or I don't know if that, that's what they called it, but the white and the yellow is what I say, because <laughs> I'm so technical. The white and the yellow block, but they haven't the last several times I've gone in. So I was just like, you know what? It's really only 50 cents cheaper to get the block than the bag. Um, and I, I mean, it's a little healthier getting the block because they put stuff in here to make it stay fresh. But regardless, I went the easy route, wanted my Colby and Monterey Jack instead of just plain yellow cheese or like the sharp or regular cheddar cheese. So I got the bags. There's two one pound bags of the already pre-shredded pre Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. All right, we're getting into some extras here. So like all of this stuff is extra. So this I saw, Fannie Mae the milk chocolate mini pixies. They look like little turtles, right? And they're individually wrapped, which is fantastic. It's smooth caramel and crunchy pecans drenched in milk chocolate. I picked these up. I'm gonna stick these in the back of the pantry and our little like cabinet that we have back there. So out of sight, out of mind. And we're going to the lake in a couple weeks. And I thought this would be great. I think my mom would really love these because she loves turtles. So went ahead and picked that up to take as like a grown up snack to the lake. Then I also saw this. I love these little like trail mix for snack mixes. They're super yummy. Great for just a quick little snack. So this is Ocean Spray S'mores Cranberry Bites. So it has milk chocolate and marshmallow flavored Greek yogurt covered cranberries. And then it also has the graham cracker pieces in here. So I just thought that would be fun, like ending out the summer. We only have a few more weeks of summer left little snack to add to lunches or also take to the lake. I really had the lake in mind for like these resealable snacks to take. Hopefully they'll last because we aren't going for two weeks. But anyway, pick those up. These were on like a big clearance. So this must have been like a summer item. I just picked it up. I thought they were fun that these would be great to add as like the little extra sweetness in the kids lunch boxes this year. So they are stuffed puffs, big bites, filled marshmallows, 
and the birthday cake. So it's a rainbow sprinkle coated marshmallow made with cake flavored filling. So it has a kind of filling in here. So anyway, I thought that was kind of neat. It does show you exactly what they look like. They are really, I like it says actual size. I actually feel like it, they look even a little bigger than that. But like I said, I got this for lunch boxes. So I'm gonna, you know, put this stuff in the back of the pantry and hopefully I don't go sneaking into it or the kids find it and we can, you know, hold on to these for a little bit. All right, this is something else that was clearanced out, I guess, because it was big over the summertime. It does say limited time offering. Members mark salted caramel, salted caramel churro flavored almonds. Man, I just, I don't know what that editing is gonna look like, but I had a really hard time saying that. Salted caramel churro flavored almonds. All right, so I got those. Again, I thought this would be great to take to the lake when we, like at the end of the day, we're a big gaming family. We like to, I mean, not only video games and stuff, the kids like that, but whenever the adults get together, we do a lot of board games, card games, that kind of thing. And we always have some kind of like snacky thing on the table as we're playing. So I got lots of options, <laughs> lots of sweets and some like easy grab and go types of snacking for the lake. So anyway, those just sounded really good. Like ending out summer, the nice summer flavors. So I picked those up and then we'll stick with the snacks. Mark picked these two items up. So he saw the Doritos. They were, I think, 50 cents off in the Twisted Southwest Ranch flavor. We've never tried these before. All the kids love Doritos. So we'll see who wants to try those. And then he really likes the tahin flavored pork rinds. So he went ahead and picked these up as well. It's the 4505 brand. And again, just tahin flavored fried pork rinds. So he picked those up. All right, this was something new. Instead of like regular grapes, these just caught my eye. It says intense grape flavor, grape soda flavored grapes. So we'll see how these are, if the kids like them. They're super tiny. So this is definitely gonna be easy to just snack on and pick on, but got those. All right, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of meal prep. And like I said, I'm not quite sure when this video is going out. So you might've already seen a meal prep video with what I'm about to talk about, or it's gonna come shortly after. So I did get a two pound, I believe this is, yes, of the Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage. I'm gonna be making breakfast burritos for the kids. So I went ahead and got some sausage for that. I feel like whenever I do meal prep, breakfast is definitely the easiest thing for me to meal prep. And this summer has definitely been a very relaxed summer for us. The kids have been sleeping in and they pretty much skip breakfast because it's, you know, 1045 to 1130. By the time they're up, dressed, they stay upstairs for a little bit and then they come down to eat. So it's lunchtime. So we've really been having breakfast for lunch. So <laughs> I've been prepping a lot of breakfast stuff and it just makes it nice and easy. We really haven't been having a whole lot of lunch stuff. So went ahead and got some breakfast sausage for that. Here's the hot dogs I picked up for dinner tonight. I mean, we definitely won't eat all of them, but it'll be a quick, easy dinner when you have extra kiddos over. So I always get the beef ones. It's just my preference. So ballpark beef hot dogs, 24 count. All right, Paige asked for some oat milk. She is home now. I don't know if I've mentioned that in a video yet, but we are back to being a family of six. She was out of town for pretty much an entire month and now she's back. So got her the Planet Oat oat milk in the original. And then I'll just come over here real quick. Also got two gallons of whole milk. So definitely been going through the milk. It's just weird how some weeks I'll have like half a gallon left over and some weeks, we run out like a day or two before I even go to the grocery store. So I don't know, just picking up two at a time, I guess, back to that. So we got two gallons of the vitamin D milk. Then I'll just come right here. I already opened this because it is lunchtime. Well, actually it's past lunchtime. I didn't eat lunch. I'm starving. That's probably why I got like extra stuff that always happens, but it's almost four o'clock and I hadn't eaten anything for lunch. So I already had one of these and I figured, you know what, since I opened it, I'll just show you guys what they look like. But these were on sale also why I picked them up and I like how small they are, just nice and easy again for the kids to take to school as their snack or to have, you know, for me to have here at home. So these are the kind thins. The actual kind bars are good but sometimes they're really hard. Like they leave whole almonds on there and sometimes they're just really hard and they hurt like the kids' teeth and they don't like to eat them. So I wanted to try these thins out and since I already ate one, I definitely can go ahead and let you guys know. They're super yummy and they're not very hard. So there's 28 total in here. There's 14 of the peanut butter dark chocolate. That's the one I had. I just kind of pulled one out. I didn't care what flavor. And then there's 14 of the dark chocolate cherry cashew. That's the second one I pulled out. So that's the one that's on top of here. 
it's not wanting to focus that well on here, but that's the one here, but you guys can see how small they are. It says here 90 calories and one bar. So I did go ahead and pick those up as an extra little snack. Coming back over here, we picked up two watermelons. So one of them is going to be for tonight and then we'll have another watermelon for, you know, later on in the week. All right, and then we did get some drinks. So hold on, let me go back over here because I know I missed this stuff. I was kind of going over all the snacky stuff there. Went ahead and got some Coke. Whenever we go to the bulk store, we pick, you know, try to stock up on our favorite go-to drinks that we pick up, just a little cheaper when you buy them in bulk. So there's 35 of the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Definitely won't have to pick up Coke for several weeks. And then this, I just saw it. I was like, mm, I don't know the next time we're gonna go to Sam's if we're gonna try to go, you know, one more time before school starts and really stock up or not but I wasn't sure if I would see these again. A Halloween is already all over the place, up on your face in every store that you go in. So I picked this up. The kids do like the Captain Crunchberry cereal, and this is the Halloween version. So there's two boxes in there, and it says the ghosts, the little ghosts in the cereal, turn your milk green. So I thought that would be fun for the fall season for the kids, and then, oh, there is one more non-food item. Got some Swiffer Wet Jet stuff. This is what I use when I'm doing like a quick mop on the floors, which really that's all I ever do. I hardly ever, I have a steam mop, but I really just use the quick Swiffer most of the time. It's rare when I steam mop. I probably do the steam mop like once a month and yeah, I'm horrible about that. But anyway, needed some more. So this was, I think this was on sale too and that's why I picked it up. This has a, this is like the, the pack though. It's got two of the bottles in there of the liquid that I use to clean the floor. And then it has 32 pads in there that are great. They actually have like a really good scrubbing action on there if there's anything that's like stuck on the floor or whatever. So went ahead and picked that up. They are safe on wood as well. So yeah, I, I forgot about that one. That one is a non-food item. All right, coming back over here, let me move the chips here. The other two drinks that we got, I love sparkling water. If you're not new, then you know that. And all the LaCroix brand was on sale. So I went with more of like the summery flavors because this isn't available all the time. This is a 24 pack, it has six guava in there, six of the beach plum, and then 12 of the black raspberry. So I did get that. And then this was a rare find. We have really been having a hard time getting the Gatorade Zero at the bulk stores in the right size. Most of the time they have the big, I think they're like 24 ounces, but these ones are 12 ounces, which we prefer for the kids. So I got a pack of the Gatorade Zero in the, let's see, eight Glacier Freeze, 12 orange, and then is that eight grape? Yeah, eight grape, and again, they're the 12 ounce bottle. So they're perfect for the kids. Then another little snacky option, like I said, this is what happens when I go in and we did not eat lunch. So we're actually gonna save this for tomorrow because I really don't feel like there's enough for our family and extra kids. So we're gonna try to do a movie night tomorrow night. And I thought I would just pull this out with a little bit of candy that we have in the pantry and this will be our little movie snack. So this is the Members Mark Pretzel Bites with pub style cheese dip. Savory pretzels with natural beer flavored cheese sauce. Yummy it says, it just says the same exact thing over again. So went ahead and picked that up again for a movie night tomorrow to end our week. Coming over here, picked up some just easy to go foods. So I am gonna be making some breakfast burritos, but I'm not doing that for a couple days. The meal prep I have planned is during the week, not on the weekend, it's a Saturday when I'm filming this. So I did pick up some breakfast, here the kids running and jumping around. I did go ahead and pick up this. I saw it and I was like, oh, and I believe these were on sale too. So the price that is popping up is the sale price, but there's 12 in there. It's the Jimmy Dean croissants and it has sausage, egg, and cheese. So went ahead and picked that up just so Bryce is the one that was like, mom, I need some breakfast sandwiches, breakfast burritos, that kind of thing. It's definitely his go-to. So got that for him. And then I went ahead and grabbed pizza rolls. Like I said, we've really been doing more of breakfast for lunch, but we don't have any like lunch items on hand like quick and easy so saw the pizza rolls they are a favorite of my kids this is 160 in here so there's two bags that have 80 and they'll last us a few weeks so went ahead and picked those up and we got the, we get the combination so it's got different meats and the cheese i think they have the pepperoni as well but the combination is my kids favorite and then i did go ahead and get these kit kat bars i thought these would be fun for the kids tonight since extra kiddos are over as a dessert after dinner they were on sale as well so there's 16 cones in there and again they're kit kat like cookie covered or whatever but there's the wafer with fudge and then a chocolate wafer. So I'm not quite sure what that 
means, but there's a chocolate ice cream and then there's a vanilla ice cream with the fudge little thing in the middle. So picked those up, got our microwavable bacon. This is super yummy, super easy, and the kids can make it themselves, which is great as we get closer and closer to school <laughs> starting back up. So we went ahead and picked this up. I really do like the Hormel Black Label. Again, fully cooked, original bacon, just you could eat it just like this. I know a lot of people who just eat it straight out of the fridge, but we do like to microwave ours for a little bit and get it nice and warm. And then, oh my gosh, the price on these eggs, like it just keeps, it fluctuates so much. Like it goes up and it goes down, but I swear just not even maybe over a year, I don't know, but not too long ago, I was paying $6 for five dozen eggs and you see the price up here? Almost 20, or was it 20? I don't remember. Around 20 bucks, that's crazy. But I do have a few things. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing some meal prep, so I need a few extra eggs, and I was like, you know what? I might as well just pick them up, and now I have eggs for the next several weeks. So that was just a little crazy, like how every time I go in, I feel like I'm paying a different price. You know, a year ago, I was paying $6, and it went up to 12, went down to 10, went to eight, now it's 20. Ugh, I don't know, I don't know, but Anyway, <laughs> that's enough talk and complaining about the price of eggs because I know the price of everything has gone up. That's just the, that's a main sticker shock for me just every time I see it knowing that it used to be $6. I'm like, wow, that's such a big difference. So, all right, that is everything that I, or we, because my husband was with me, picked up from Sam's Club. My hair is a mess. <laughs> so I did have help bringing this stuff in, but since the kids have friends over, normally they help with everything. I'm just gonna let them play. Uh, Mark is out taking Paige on one of her last little driving trips before she takes her test. So that's exciting, but that leaves me to put all of this stuff up and where it goes. So <laughs> I'm gonna get that done. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Sam's Club haul or you know, fairly larger, full of all the fun things, Sam's Club haul. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.